Good evening, friends, and welcome to this press briefing on Honorable Vice President's forthcoming visit to Turkmenistan. Uh, I have with me uh, Secretary West, Sri Naftej Sarna, Mr. Shambhu Kumaran, Joint Secretary Eurasia, and Mr. Anshuman Gaur, OSD to the Vice President. Uh, Secretary West will uh, give you a broad overview of uh, Vice President's program, and then we can have the question and answer session. So with that, the floor is Secretary West's. Thank you, Vikas. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, the Honorable Vice President will be visiting Turkmenistan beginning tomorrow evening and uh, returning on the 13th uh, by the, by, again by evening, so it's a 48-hour visit. Uh, strictly speaking, this is not a, a bilateral visit by uh, the Honorable Vice President. It is a visit essentially to uh, be present at two events. One is the 20th anniversary of the permanent neutrality of uh, Turkmenistan. And there is a uh, international conference on the policy of neutrality, international cooperation in the name of peace, security, and development, which the Vice President will attend and which he will be one of the leaders uh, addressing uh, the conference. Uh, so chronologically speaking, let me run down the program. He arrives tomorrow night. In all likelihood, there will be an immediately a bilateral with the President of uh, Turkmenistan. And uh, that that will happen uh, tomorrow evening. We are still waiting for a final confirmation on that, but uh, that's, that's what the indications are. Uh, the next morning in Ashgabat itself is a wreath laying by all the leaders present. There are several others uh, coming from uh, other countries, presidents and prime ministers and vice presidents and leaders of the senates. There will be a wreath laying at the monument of neutrality, which is in Ashgabat. This is a part of the ceremonies connected with the 20th uh, anniversary. Thereafter, there will be the formal function of the inaugural session of the conference at which the leaders will speak. Uh, followed by a banquet hosted by the President of Turkmenistan at lunch, cultural engagements, and uh, that will be as, as the, far as the neutrality conference is concerned. Uh, on Sunday, that is uh, the day after tomorrow, uh, we would expect uh, to go early in the morning to the city of Mari. Uh, spelled M-A-R-Y, this is the old Silk Root town of Merv, which you may have heard of, which is a famous and one of the most uh, evocative towns of Central Asia uh, from the Silk Root uh, days. And there, uh, close to the, close to Mary, uh, will be the site of the groundbreaking ceremony of the Tapi uh, uh, pipeline, which you are all familiar with, which many of you have written about, including today, and uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, you have been following it for the last uh, several years. Uh, after the um, uh, after the groundbreaking ceremony, the president uh, will be uh, hosting a lunch. And thereafter, there will be the departure of uh, our Vice President directly from Mary back to Delhi. Uh, bef before we leave Ashgabat for Mary and in the evening, the Vice President will also uh, uh, pay his respects and homage at the bust of Mahatma Gandhi, uh, which was uh, inaugurated, uh, many of you may recall, uh, on July 10-11 during uh, Prime Minister Modi's visit uh, to Ashgabat. And that has become uh, an important uh, landmark uh, in Ashgabat. Uh, the statue stands uh, right at the entrance to another landmark which has become increasingly popular in the last few months, which is the uh, 
Holistic Health and Yoga Center, which was inaugurated by the Prime Minister during the same visit, and which has quickly gathered a uh, very, very impressive uh, uh, level of uh, popularity and following uh, in, in Turkmenistan in the last uh, six months. Uh, that is as far as the uh, program is concerned. Um, uh, perhaps I think I just stop there, and I'll take questions, and then we see if, if you what exactly Akhilesh, you need more. Uh, sir, rightly you said that we are all interested in TAPU project. Mm. So, what is the status of India joining the TAPU project? Well, India is the E of TAPI. Yeah, <laughs> Look, uh, let me say this is a project which was conceived as far back as the 90s. And the memorandum of understanding was signed first between Turkmenistan and Pakistan for a pipeline project. The Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan met in Islamabad in 2002 and decided to implement the project. They signed a framework agreement in 2002. Preliminary, preliminary feasibility studies was done by the ADB. And the Indian government then requested ADB for joining the project as an official member in 2006. And we became a formal member of the uh, project during the 10th steering committee in, in 2008. So, as I see it from this, all four countries are, are, are part of this project. Several preliminary agreements have already been worked out, uh, particularly the intergovernmental agreement and the gas pipeline framework agreement. In Both of these were worked out in 2010. Then the gas sales and purchase agreement was worked out in 2012. The steering committee meets regularly. 23 meetings have already been held of this uh, steering committee, the last one being in Ashgabat in, in October this year. So that's where we stand, uh, and uh, that's uh, the context of this groundbreaking ceremony. Pakistan is ready for that. I, I, I think I detailed you <laughs> very extensively. <laughs> Any other questions that may be addressed elsewhere? Sir, yes? Can you also give us some investment I've, figures? I've got Rajas Sabha TV on my left and right. Left. Yeah. yeah. Full spectrum in circle. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is the official channel covering. As, as this is Sari Taraf hai unka ish nazara. Batai. Uh, what are the investment figures like and which are the companies that are participating are consortium and what about the Even investment uh, figures in tapi yeah hmm. well uh, uh, which are the companies it's early days early days uh, and uh, the turkmen uh, side has been in the process of trying to finalize a consortium leader uh, they were in negotiation with several international petroleum majors over the years. Uh, they have not been able to uh, make any of them a consortium leader. The negotiations have not worked out. Thereafter, the Turkmen side decided that Turkmenistan itself will become, uh, take over the role as a consortium leader. And they have now, they are now in the process of working out the preliminary arrangements by which, in due time, they will reach what is called a final investment decision. And no doubt, during this period, they will be identifying uh, sources of investment and sources of funds. They are, they are in discussion with several countries and several multilateral agencies. The uh, price, uh, indicative prices were worked out, but now uh, the uh, several uh, things have changed when, when from moving from the arrangement with the international consortium leader to this new arrangement. 
So this will no doubt impact the prices, as also will the fact that international petroleum prices are in a fairly volatile uh, state. So the final pricing, etc., and other details uh, will be worked out as we go along. So, Bhupendra from Bloomberg here, yes, sir. Uh, could you just uh, give us an overview of the security aspect of this TAPI project? Have you kind of finalized and worked out uh, what well, you intend uh, this, to do with this? It? This, this is again something which is not for one country to work out. Well, this is this is no doubt an important aspect uh, of the pipeline. The the uh, naturally uh, the it's an infrastructure project which requires. Uh, detailed surveys of the terrain, uh, both in uh, physical terms and the security terms surrounding the terrain. And no doubt this will be a very important aspect uh, which will have to be worked out, which will have to be insured uh, so that uh, investment can be found and buyers can be found. And uh, uh, could you just give us a uh, timeline of when the construction would start in Afghanistan, Pakistan, well, uh, and in India. The, the exact timeline is not available yet because, as I said, this is a new arrangement now that Turkmenistan has proposed and which the steering committee has now worked out in a very initial, uh, at a very initial stage. Uh, so it's difficult to uh, work out a timeline, but this is, let me remind you, a groundbreaking ceremony. So in many ways, uh, uh, time is ticking. Is India, uh, same here, sir. is India kind of pursuing this uh, IPI project uh, as of now? Uh? When we go for the groundbreaking ceremony for that, I'll tell you. I, I wouldn't, uh, your question is valid, but I wouldn't relate it to that uh, initial MOU, which, because now it's a four country project. So I'm not going to get into some old bilateral MOU with which the project may have begun. We have a four country project, we have a steering committee in which all four countries uh, are, are present, and I'm sure this is a concern to all the countries, and I'm sure that they will find uh, if the pipeline is to succeed, they will find appropriate answers. Thank you. Okay. You can't resist it. Yeah. I think, let me, okay. Uh, let me tell you that um, We've had a, we have a very important relationship with Turkmenistan. It is a country which is uh, strategically located. It is a resource-rich country. It's a country which, with which, uh, which has tremendous uh, resonance with, uh, with India, both in our outlook on regional and international relations. Uh, I mean, you, you've seen uh, uh, the a manifestation in permanent neutrality which is closely aligned to non-alignment. Uh, Turkmenistan is a member of the non-aligned movement. Uh, and earlier during this year, we have had some very, very significant developments. The external affairs minister visited uh, Turkmenistan in the second week of April uh, this year, which was followed by the historic visit uh, by Prime Minister Modi, a visit which took place at Prime Minister's level after a gap of 20 years. And several areas of cooperation were identified. TAPI is a very significant part of it, which our uh, joint statement recognizes that TAPI be between India and Turkmenistan will be a clear evidence of the fact that we have much to gain with such cooperation that we this is going to be a significant force multiplier into our uh, development efforts. This will be a practical manifestation of uh, the connectivity that, that we, we talk about. And 
it will very significantly change the way India and Central Asia are related. Besides that, there were other areas which were identified for cooperation. For instance, the entire, uh, entire sector of fertilizers and urea. Uh, we are in discussion with Turkmenistan to see whether we can have long-term offtake, up offtake of uh, urea from Turkmenistan. An MOU was signed uh, in the presence of the Prime Minister in uh, July. We have uh, an agreement uh, on aspects of security, defense, and uh, counterterrorism training. We are training Turkmenistan uh, cadets in counterterrorism activity uh, in India. Uh, we have uh, SNT cooperation. We have IT cooperation. There is an IT center in Ashgabat which has recently been upgraded. And we have very, very close uh, cultural uh, 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 links. And, and, and uh, you know, whether you look at Turkmen Gate in Old Delhi or uh, uh, the tomb of uh, Rahim Khana Khana, uh, or you look at the present day success of uh, our yoga center and the ex tremendous popularity of Bollywood. Uh, there are these close cultural links and great warmth and, and goodwill for each other. So there is much to discuss in the bilateral and I haven't even gone into the fact that there will be no doubt a look at the regional issues which are important to both countries and the international landscape. Okay, thank you all. This briefing comes to a close.